What's up people, Dobson Wolves is right here and welcome to another episode of Game Gems. We did PSP, we did the Dreamcast. Now a lot, a lot of people didn't vote for this one but I wanted to do something right now because we've done Nintendo a lot, we've done PlayStation a lot, we've done Sega quite a bit. Who are we missing? Oh yeah, the Xbox. Like I said, it that determines on who much, what people are a massive fan of the Xbox or not. But today we are talking about the originator of them all for the Xbox, the Xbox original. Now, the Xbox original was something that everybody loved or everybody hated, because the Xbox original mainly consists of a lot of war games and a lot of racing games. There was hardly any RPGs. There was hardly any combat games or horror games or anything like that but they did have a good little section of it all but they were hard to find or very expensive to obtain now but luckily I've got five with me right now to tell you my five gems of the Xbox original let's get them down shall we the first one I'm going to be talking to you about is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie's Revenge this is pretty much based after the film of Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what I'm saying. This is a fantastic platform action game. And it's made by Capcom. One of the best innovators of combat games. And to be honest, there's a lot of stuff to do it. Because you have to save Halloween Town as Jack Skeleton, as you guys know. You have the Dance of Death, which is actually a rhythm game in the game. So when you're facing the boss Oogie Boogie, as you guys know, you be, will be facing Oogie Boogie anyway. As you know in the film, he sings a dance and that's the way you have to beat him. You have to dance to beat him. But also you can switch costumes, which you rarely got a chance to do in the, in the old days. But in this one, you did. He had Jack Skeleton's normal Pumpkin King uniform. He had his actual pumpkin um, cosmetics. And he had him as the Christmas cosmetics, as always, from the film. But all I can say is, though, for a Disney game as well, because, yes, this is also a Disney game, because it's owned... That Nightmare Before Christmas is owned by Disney. This is one of the best ones. One of the best Disney games ever made. Really. I'm telling you truthfully, this is one of the best ones ever made. This rivals Mickey's Epic Adventure on the PS1 to Kingdom Hearts, of course, it's Disney, but it's with Square Enix. Tarzan, Hercules. This pretty much almost beats them all, or ties with it. It's that fantastic. And it has the feel of Nightmare Before Christmas. A lot, a lot of movie games and everything don't have the feel like they did in the movie. This 100% does. And if you guys are a massive fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, like I am, get yourself a copy of this. I think, if I recall, they have it on the Xbox, of course, the PlayStation 2, if I remember, and the GameCube, if I remember. If not, it'd probably be the Nintendo Wii. But still, though, this is fantastic. And I actually say the Xbox original version is actually better than the others. That's in my eyes. That's my opinion. It's just fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's fun. It has the feel of Night Before Christmas, and it's one of my favourite films from the Disney franchise. Next up, we are moving on to a bit of a horror game, and that is Obscure. Now, like I said, this game is obscure. Not a lot of people have heard of it, not a lot of people have played it. But all I can say is, it's scary. It really is, and you guys know how much I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to horror games. This is scary. This reminds me of a game called Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. It has a feel of that, but in a high school. Because it's pretty much all based in a school. And you guys know how much I don't like schools in horror games. They, they freaks me out. But all I can say is, though, there's so many monsters in this game that are so freaky and beyond question, questioning it, you may think that Silent Hill was nothing. This has more potential to be even a more freakier game than Silent Hill. The monsters in this game are way more freakier, the counters are way more progressed, and the action is so much fun, and 
it's, it's, it's a crime that this game does not get talked about by a lot of people. And that's why I'm saying that this is a gem in my eyes because not a lot of people have heard of it. And it should be a gem right now because it's just... It's just fantastic, really is. And there's not a lot of horror games that you can play this game as a two-player mode. Yes, we had Resident Evil Survivor. I mean, not Survivor. Um, what was it called again? Outbreak and Outbreak File 2, which was co-opted, co but you had to use online mode as well. This you could just play on two, two players right next to each other. And it's even more fun because playing in the dark with two people, you're screaming like a bitch. It's just a lot of fun, and the plot twists in this game are unexpected. Some people may think it's cheap and it's very expected, but I was shocked every single time when something happened. And that's why it's one of my gems in my collection for the Xbox original. Next up... You guys know this one. I want to get this version on the PS2 just to finish my PS2 collection off. And to me, it is one of the most scariest horror games out there. And you guys see me play it on the PS5. Project Zero 2 Crimson Butterfly. Also known, Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. This got me in horror games. This one version. And I really want the PS2 version because I know I've heard it's a lot better. And it's a lot more fluent than the Xbox original. But my god, people, this game kicks ass. If you are petrified of ghosts like I am, you're going to absolutely be scared of this game. And it really does. It is petrifying, people. It really is. They have fantastic characters. The, the controls are fluent as much as they can be. And it's a very long game, if you want to know. It's quite long. Now, if you think that um, Fatal Frame... Made in a Black Water was not a long game. This is three times as long. It's really a long game. If you have no idea where you're going, you will get lost quite a few times. But as well, it also helps you a little bit where to go as well by following some ghosts. But some of them ghosts are booby traps and they go after you. And the boss in this game is freaking scary. It really is. I freak out when I find her. And I tell you, please, people. There is so many other YouTubers who played this game a lot, more than I have. And there's one I'm going to give you a shout out to, it's Psychedelic Snake. He's played it a lot of times and he screamed like a bitch more than I have. If you want to know more about him, I'll actually leave it in the description down below so you can watch his live streams and his Let's Plays of Crimson Butterfly. They're that good. Number two is, of course, a remake of a game that I put down in a gem on the Nintendo 64. And that is Conkers, Live and Reload. What can I say? A remake of Conkers Bad Fur Day. Fantastic! It's what I wanted. And luckily as well, it got another remake on the Xbox Origin on the Xbox One. Wow! On the rare replay. So yeah. What can I say? I've said the same thing as I did on the Xbox 3s on the um, on the um, Nintendo 64. The characters have improved. The graphics have improved. The music is still there. The slight thing about it is it's been censored, not uncensored. Which did do my heading a little bit because I find it really funny when they had the great Mighty Pooh swearing and the cat swearing and you have the teddy bear Nazi swearing. It was very much a very fun game. But either way, all of its mechanics from the original game are still in it. And I'll tell you truthfully though, I think there was more um, cameos of films in this game than the original. And to tell you truthfully, it's a fantastic game. It's a phenomenal game. Get yourself a version of this game. And like I said, if you have the Xbox One, you've got the Rare Replay, which pretty much is this game. As you know, it really isn't because it is the original. But either way, get yourself a copy of the game. It's fantastic. There's nothing really much to say about this game because I've said it a lot of times on my videos. It's fantastic. Get yourself a copy of it. It's a gem in my eyes. Now it's time for number one. Mr. Sandman. 
Bring me a dream, bom 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 bom, make me the greatest that I've ever seen. Stubbs the zombie. The best of the best. And if you guys want to know as well, this game was built with the Halo engine. Yes, the games that made Halo built this. So you guys think, oh, it's made by Halo, so it should be good. It's better than Halo. It's freaking ace. And to say you truthfully, it's one of the most rarest games on the Xbox original. This is actually more than a gem. This is a diamond, people. This could be a freaking platinum. This is gold right now, people. It's very rare. However, it has now got remastered, as you guys know, on the PS4. Stubbs the Zombie. Same game. Just enhanced graphics. And guess what? This game will get live streamed in the near future, as you guys know. But, back to this though. Why is it a gem? Well, number one, it's the most rarest game on the Xbox original. Truth be told, it is. The music is fantastic. It has the old classic old school music like Mr. Sandman, um, Lollipop, you know, all them old schools. You play as a zombie. How many games do you have you played that you play a main character as a zombie? Not a lot of them, is there? You get to eat people, eat their brains, and turn them into zombies themselves, and they follow you. You can possess the living, so that you can control them. You can build a horde of zombies if you want, which makes the games a lot more easier to play, because this game can be quite difficult. But also you can use your body as a weapon. You can throw your heart as a grenade by hitting the enemies and then they turn into zombies because they get infected. And as well you have yourself a hand that you take off and it can start, you can climb up a person's body and attach it to their head and you brain control them and make them do something else like shoot other people. You have yourself a fart move that gasses people which stuns them but also turns them into zombies. This guy, Mr. Stubbs, Stubbs the Zombie, is a freaking masterpiece. It really is. And to be honest, to tell you the truth, though, I've never seen this version in Saw Fum. I rarely see it. And I'm telling the truth, and probably Saw Fum can probably correct me if they want, that they have had a copy of this before. The only places I've seen this copy ever be shown before has been in CEX. Twice. That is it. That's all I've seen it from. I rarely see it. I rarely do. And that's why it's a gem. It really is. It's a fantastic game. It's a gem. It's a gold. It's a piece of gold bar. It's a diamond. It's a ruby. It's everything. It's every part of a gem it can be. It's the best of the best. The best there is. The best there was. And the best there ever will be. Stubbs the Zombie is 100% my number one pick of a gem on the Xbox original. Said it straight so that is my episode today on the xbox original as i as you get people know stubs the zombie conquers live live and reloaded fail frame 2 crimson butterfly obscure and of course nightmare before christmas oogie's revenge if there is if you people do own an xbox original please tell me what you own and what are your gems if you want if you haven't got a lot please tell me your top three or your top five depending on what you pick and like i said though people i respect your opinions i like you guys respect would respect mine so without further ado though people what is going to be the next episode of of uh, game gems that is the million dollar question ladies and gentlemen Hmm, very, very interesting, I say. Shall we stick with the Xbox? Shall we move back to, play, to Sony? To the Nintendo? Or back to the Sega? I'll leave a poll later down the line so you guys can choose on what could be next. So without further ado, the people I'm just looking to you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!